Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 11.15 in Honolulu, 4.15 in New York. It is Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands, December 23rd, 2016. And this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver, our weekend review. However, this week we're going to approach it a little bit differently in that we're going to do Gold 2016, a year in review. Because what I want to do is to take a, a longer term perspective in gold to take a look at what activity we have seen this week and I think most importantly compare the activity of this year and see how it fits into the grand scheme of things so to speak when we compare it to activity over the last five to seven years. Quiet trading today in gold as we have gold trading up marginally up currently about two dollars and fifty cents trading at 11.33 it has traded to a low of 11.29.50 and a high of 11.37 we are certainly in pre-holiday mold mode silver however which has been trading to a different drummer as gold is trading lower this morning but nominally lower we're off fractionally currently at 15.79 traders I have to tell you, even with this most recent decline in which we have seen gold go from the yearly high of 1380 down to our current pricing, which is much, much lower, we have to put that into perspective of what occurred not only at the beginning of this year, but in context of what we have seen since gold traded to 1900 and moved lower. So with that in mind, please enjoy this weekend review a perspective of this year's action. With the Christmas holiday beginning in a couple of days and New Year's just around the corner, I am amazed at how quickly this year has passed and more importantly, how this year was significantly different than the subsequent years of 2011 up till the beginning of 2016. What was different was that gold pricing began in 2016 at the lowest point it had been to in the last five years. 2016 was the first year since the correction when gold actually traded to a high that was above the previous high the year before. So traders, as you can see, when we look at this year's activity and we put it in perspective in terms of what occurred just before it, I think you can see that it was the high that was achieved, the highest high we got this year in gold pricing that is the most outstanding feature of this year's activity rather than how much is still left of the yearly gain because that of course is critically important we have now still got a little bit of our yearly gain considering that the market is trading at 1133 and it opened up roughly at 1050 we still have this remainder as our price ascent this year but what is most important I believe is the fact that we have seen gold trade in a pivotal year and 2016's overall characteristic is that this is the year we went from an extremely corrective market that was definitely dominated by bearish sentiment into a market where we can now say with clear-cut evidence that a bottom was achieved at the beginning of the year by virtue of the fact that this year's yearly high was above last year's yearly high and that is the first occurrence of that since the market began to decline in 2011 after hitting a record high above $1,900 per ounce. So while most traders right now are really focusing on the fact that gold was trading at 1380 as recently as August of this year and has lost considerable value now down to about 1135 to 1133 as we close out the final trading session before the holiday season commences what I think we need to focus on is putting this recent decline into perspective first the market has been in a multi-year decline which began at 1900 and culminated at the end of last year beginning of this year secondly we have seen the market trade from a low of about 1040 1050 at the beginning of this year to its yearly high of 1380 and then finally we have held on to some of the yearly gains 
So in conclusion, yes, we have seen a dramatic decline in gold pricing since August of this year, but 2016 was a pivotal year in that it was the first occurrence of a yearly high that was above the yearly high of the prior year, which gives us technical evidence that the bottom and low prices of 2016 were in fact the conclusion of a multi-year correction. This is Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading and a joyous holiday season which is about to begin. We will talk to you on Tuesday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.